Hey guys, my name is Nick Davis from Nick Davis Psychotherapy, Hypnotherapy, NLP and Life Coaching. Now, today we're going to talk about my LEMA protocol. And the LEMA protocol is designed to reduce anxiety, to reduce stress and to increase low mood. Uh, to increase your mood so you feel better. Um, one of the reasons I created this is I've done every form of meditation there was when I collapsed 22 years ago in the year 2000. I studied meditation, all sorts of meditation. I studied, studied uh, Buddhist meditation, chakra meditation, on meditation where you change the vibrations from the O here to the H here in your chest, the M in your stomach. We did all the Zen cones uh, between me, my teachers and people I was studying with. You know, what's the sound of one hand clapping and things like that. And what I found teaching other people is people didn't have my sense of desperate need I guess because I was suffering with anxiety and panic attacks at the time so what I did is I tried to condense down everything I've learned about meditation and hypnosis and mindfulness and condense it into the fastest way to meditate so this literally is the fastest way to meditate even if you're somebody who's not interested in meditation somebody has difficulty concentrating this is a really really great technique to get you into meditation super quick so without further ado, let's go. So the LEMA protocol, L stands for being loose, limp and relaxed. So lazy, loose and limp. So what you do is you sit back in the chair and you kick your legs forward. Now you can't see me on here, but really your uh, top of your legs wants to be like this and the front of your legs like this. So roughly 120 degrees. Uh, so your feet are there, roughly 120 degrees angle. If your legs are too tight like this, you get tension in your quad, quadriceps. So your legs are too tight. So literally kicking back, make your body, your body really floppy, loose, limp and lazy. Like I said, that's the L. The next thing you do is you inhale diaphragmatically. So I'm going to try and sit up a bit here. So what you do is you push um, your stomach out. So normally when we're anxious, we do shoulder and chest breathing and what's known as apical breathing. You breathe in the top apex of your lungs. So you'll go <sighs> or a lot of anxious people hold, hold the breath. So they'll talk and then they'll go <sighs> talk do, 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 and then get short breaths. This is no good for you. So we need to activate the calming parasymp parasympathetic nervous system from your central nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is when you go into the stress response. You may also have heard it referred to as fight or flight. And these things create anxiety, stress and depression and low mood. So then the eyes inhale diaphragmatically. So what we do is we breathe in and we push the stomach out. So we go, hold the breath. And when you breathe out, we need to sigh. So you go, so we need to continue that breathing. But the M is for meditate on a point on the wall in front of you or whatever's in front of you about six inches or more above your gaze not high up, high up at the ceiling but roughly between about there and there so six inches above and slightly higher and focus on that point really meditate on that point now as you're listening to my voice you can do this but don't nod your head or say anything just focus on that point so continue making your body loose limp and lazy inhale diaphragmatically breathing in through your nose or through your mouth, whatever you prefer. And when you breathe out, through your mouth and sigh. Now this is starting to let go of stress already. So keep focusing on that point. Now as you meditate on that point, what will happen is your peripheral vision will begin to blur. As soon as your peripheral uh, vision begins to blur, your brain waves have moved from beta to alpha. This is a sign that you're in eyes open trance, eyes open meditation or eyes open mindfulness. So any of those three, you're completely in that moment. Now, the A stands for affirmation. So as you meditate on that point and you're in that state of meditation, there's no point doing affirmations in your, in, in, unless you're in the alpha state or below because they just don't stick. Uh, and I've researched this stuff for 22 years. So the affirmations you need if you're specifically thinking about anxiety. Another thing I want you to do if you're suffering with anxiety is feel your feet flat on the floor because when you've got anxiety we get a lot of get a big download of nor norepinephrine or noradrenaline which makes our eyes super sensitive our ears, ears super sensitive so our senses really switch on so we need to take that awareness away down to the soles of our feet so feel the f uh, your feet pushing down on the floor with the weight of your feet don't push them feel the floor pushing back and then imagine there are roots like a big oak tree growing into the ground keeping you grounded and safe if that works for you it's generally what i tend to do with people with anxiety and the a stands for your affirmations so as you do this you can keep your eyes open or eyes closed 
depends on what's most comfortable for you. And then say this affirmation to yourself over and over again, nice and slow. I'm safe, calm and relaxed. I'm safe, calm and relaxed. I'm safe, calm and relaxed. And just keep repeating that affirmation again and again and again. And just repeat this. Now I recommend as a prescription, you do this first thing in the morning when you wake up. You do this last thing at night before you go to bed and any time during the day, whether you're suffering with stress, anxiety or low mood. And normally within a few, you know, experiences of this, a few days, a few times, you know, people see a massive, massive um, change in their, how, they, how they feel. And they tend to feel more positive, happier and things like this. I recommend you do this even if you're not feeling bad just to give you that space in your mind to really help you with your mental health. So one of the things that um, you can also do is if you're struggling really badly or, or you're somebody that really uh, wants to f see the change is give yourself a number between 0 and 10 at the beginning. So how bad am I feeling where zero is, uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with me at all, I feel okay, I feel great. 10 is the worst you've ever felt. Give yourself a number between there when you start for your anxiety, your stress, your low mood. And then when you finish the exercise, revisit that and see what the number is. Now, what I say to people is if you want to keep reducing the number, keep doing the exercise or prolong the exercise for longer. But it's really, really good housekeeping for your mental health. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you know anybody that would benefit from this, please do share it. I'm trying to create these free resources, you know, on my YouTube and on my other channels to help people who can't afford um, or don't have access to mental health. So please do share this far and wide. Uh, it's Nick Davis, Lima Protocol. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, drop us a, a like um, or a share and subscribe to the channel. So take care, guys, and most of all, look after yourself.